Hey yo, first name? Haha, <laughs> just kidding, Dale. Oh man, what a doozy of a terrible online pitch. Welcome back to App Creative, everyone. If you're new here, my name is Dale Richards. I'm a software entrepreneur from Salt Lake City, Utah, and I love making software that changes the world. I'm building a SaaS product from concept to cash, and I'm taking you with me for the ride. If you want to change the world, build apps, grow your SaaS business, and make money doing cool software entrepreneur-related stuff, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell. So I got hit by a doozy of a cold online pitch on LinkedIn, and I just thought, it's time to revisit cold online pitches because I've got to share this one with you. Now, I've picked out, yes, this particular online pitch to share, but also I have some others that I want to share with you to kind of revisit how to go about reaching out to someone cold on LinkedIn if that's what you happen to be doing. Now, obviously, we're talking about this in the context of selling SaaS, but uh, in a lot of the pitches that I'm going to share with you are from like people trying to render services to us meaning to, to app creative. Obviously reaching out cold is not ideal, but if you are going to reach out to someone cold, here are some things to think about. Your cold online pitch should ha do three things. It should establish my problem, meaning the problem of the, of the person you're addressing. It should propose a solution and it should ask for that connection or the permission to connect with that person. Uh, so I'm gonna walk you through some of these other examples of, of real pitches people have made to me in the last few months. And I want you to see if you can figure out what's wrong with these pitches. Hi, Dale. Nice to connect with you. I hope you are doing well in this unprecedented time. It's a very polite thing to say during the, during the pandemic. I'd like to learn more about your business and share about mine. I also have many connections that could be beneficial. When can we chat? Now, the nice thing about this pitch is that it's polite. The, the thing that's wrong with this pitch is that it's very, very vague. Anybody could write this pitch. It doesn't really provide me with a compelling reason to accept this person into my network. Now, uh, it's nice to ask, hey, I wanna learn more about your business and, and share about their business. And maybe this person doesn't really know what the opportunities could be yet. And I, I'm open to that. I may end up accepting this person into my network, but, but the main thing here is that I don't really feel a compelling reason to click yes. This person could just be trying to sell me some kind of general consulting service, which is probably what's going on. So this one is polite, but vague. How about this one? Greetings. I am working in an IT company. I am writing regarding App Creative. What technology stack do you have? We have a pool of startup clients and they might be interested in your services. Can we talk? Okay, so I like this one a little bit more than the previous one. It's a little bit more specific. They do, they mention the name of my company. Yes. They do also ask about the tech stack that we're using. So it's nice for them to inquire about how we go about doing our business. Um, and then also it offers some potential value. You know, this person says, we have a pool of startup clients. They may be interested in your services. Can we talk? So I'm a little bit more inclined to say yes to this person. Notice though, however, that um, even though this is slightly more specific or slightly more customized, it, it isn't that customized. I mean, they mentioned the name of the company um, and they know that we're a development company. That's nice, but, but like this person doesn't use my name. This person doesn't ask about uh, like, what are the specifics about my business? So I think it would be nice to have a little bit more interest in my business first before pitching their business. How about this one? I hope you are well. Thank you, I am. I help US businesses provide online and voice customer service and support at an affordable and scalable cost. My team can create and handle all logistics to educate a call center that can handle all inquiries into your business. Okay, so this pitch is actually good from the perspective of that it, it, it clarifies the intent of this person. This person is not trying to just sneak their way into my network. Before I've even accepted their invitation, this person has made it very clear what he is offering. So it's basically, you know, this call center offering, you know, this team helps to uh, handle the logistics of, and educate call centers. So I like this pitch from the standpoint that it's clear from the upfront before I accept any invitations, what this person wants to offer me. Now, the problem though, is that this person hasn't really established the problem. This person hasn't confirmed that I even have a call center or that I care about working on the effectiveness of my call center. So if I were to make this pitch a little bit better, I would, I would first ask, you know, is this a problem for you? So this person could have written, I hope you are well. I was wondering if you have a call center. I help US businesses provide online and voice customer service, et cetera, et cetera. So, 
it would be nice if this person were to establish first that I even had this problem. But again, I like that this person has set the intention before I've even accepted anything. Contrast that to this one. Hi Dale, just reaching out and connecting to folks in the business community now that the coronavirus crisis is here. How are you coping? That's a very polite and vague and general introduction, but I don't really know why this person wants to connect with me. So that was the message that was sent in April at the beginning of the pandemic. Then in December, he followed up. Hi Dale, hope you are well. Smiley face. With regards to what's worked with business development, tools and techniques have remained somewhat similar. Networking, building relationships, and seeking to understand needs. The latter is particularly important now. We have new strategies that are working very effectively for getting in front of your target prospects. Let me know if you'd like to hop on a call and we can walk you through what's working right now. So I appreciate the intent of this follow-up message. Like this person is trying to add value by saying, hey, here's some things that we've seen are happening, some trends that you should be aware of. The issue here is that it again, doesn't establish that this is a problem for me. So this person is just assuming and saying, hey, what's worked well with business development? Here's some, here's some things you should think about. What I would like to see here is, uh, hi Dale, hope you are well. How is your business development going? Are you having any issues? We've noticed this and this and this. So please ask me first if this is a problem for me. Okay, here is the pitch. Here's the one that hit me over the head with a doozy. Okay, so I get this invitation and here's what it says. Hey yo, first name, haha, <laughs> just kidding Dale. Saw you're also a fan of Alexandra Blank's LinkedIn posts about gaining more paying clients and customers. Love it too, let's connect. <laughs> oh my gosh, like what makes you think this is an okay way to approach someone on LinkedIn? This is just so crazy. First of all, um, it's totally snarky, this attitude. Hey yo, first name, haha, <laughs> just kidding Dale. Like, look, I'm a professional. I get that sometimes people wanna lighten things up, but if this is your first impression, it's not a good first impression. So if you're trying to pitch someone online, I, I would not advise doing this. There are other clever ways, and I have gotten some really clever pitches. I'm gonna to have to dig some of those up. I've gotten some cl really clever pitches that I really appreciated in the past, but this is not one of them. Haha, <laughs> just kidding Dale, like things that bother me, how casual this is. The lack of capitalization or correct punctuation. Um, the, the hey yo first name thing basically is just saying like, hey look, I'm playing a joke on you as if I'm not really customizing my, my introductory pitch, but I really am because I'm so awesome at this. Okay, another thing that really bothers me, that really bothers me is that this person went onto my activity feed, saw my activity on a friend of mine's posts and then invoked that person's name to get me to connect with him, as if I, uh, as if this person was connected with this mutual friend, which he is not. So I actually wrote to Alexandra and asked, do you know this person? Uh, because I don't see that person as one of our mutual contacts. So I could tell off the bat that this person was not connected with this friend of mine, Alexandra. And she wrote back saying, yeah, that's tricky. Like, the, you know, this person is not connected with me in any way. Uh, so yeah. Um, so, multiple, multiple counts against this person. I would never pitch this way, so don't ever do that. This this pitch does not do any of the things that we talked about. It doesn't establish a problem, it doesn't offer a solution, and it doesn't ask for permission. Well, it does ask for permission in saying, let's connect. It's not really asking for permission, it doesn't really ask for the connection, but, but uh, it does invoke an invitation to connect, but not in a very, not in a very good way. Okay, my dream pitch, like I said, establishes the problem, proposes a solution, and asks for the connection or the permission to connect. Here is my dream pitch. I would love to be pitched like this. Everyone, everyone who's trying to sell to me, pay attention, this is how you should pitch. Hi Dale, I watched some of your YouTube videos about value proposition and thought you had a cool approach. It looks like your channel is growing. I specialize in content marketing and channel growth and was wondering if we could connect to chat. Would that be okay? Maya. Okay, so Maya is not a real person. I wish she were. I would I would accept Maya into my network in a heartbeat and I would probably talk to her just to see what she's offering and what her experience is uh, because this is a problem that's relevant to me. You know, I, I want to grow my channel. I, I want more people, uh, especially more softwarepreneurs to watch and be inspired to go and change the world. That's what I want. And she's been very polite about it, right? Hey, I checked you out. I did some homework, I learned a little bit more about you and your business, and I wanted to connect with you in this way. Here's another one. Hi Dale, I noticed you were giving some webinars on app development. 
How are you doing with developer resources? I'm from an agency in Kiev, Ukraine, and might have some potential team members for you. Can we talk? Maria. I would love to get a pitch. Actually, I got one very similar to that uh, from this person here. Uh, this is a real pitch that I got with, uh, from a person with whom I'm now doing business. Hello, Dale. Nice to meet you. I saw your post looking for a Node.js developer. As a CEO of a digital company, I'm interested. What criteria do you have for the remote candidates? So I accepted this person we started talking. He, get me, he sent me some resumes. We looked through some of the candidates that he had and now we've deployed some of them to our projects. So really great way to pitch. It's to the point, you have a problem, I've got a solution, let's talk. Let's understand more about each other without committing or over committing too much too soon. So really a great, a great pitch. Now, if you are doing a potential outbound pitch to sell your SaaS product, remember, establish if there is a problem, offer the solution, and then ask for permission to connect. So here's one way that we could pitch this product that we're talking about uh, on this channel. Hello, Jennifer. I noticed you're an administrator for a dental assistant program at Davis Tech. I'm curious, are you accredited by council.org? We have an app that dramatically reduces the instructor and admin burden of gathering worksite employer signatures. Can we talk? Now, this is very specific. And the reason why I can be this specific is because we've already done the user research into what the problem is. A lot of times people don't even know what the problem is of the contacts. And so they get frustrated. They say, cold calling doesn't work, cold pitching doesn't work. Well, maybe you just haven't really established the problem or focused on the persona of the person that has that problem. Try doing that first. Then establish with that persona that yes, you really do fit this segment. You really do have this problem. Uh, offer your solution that's going to relieve pains. It's going to realize gains for that person. And then ask for permission to talk. You never know, you may just get a yes. Thanks for watching. Come back and see more on App Creative. We'll talk to you next time.